Yeah, so this is a book of Roman 80, starting at verse 16, it read, The Spirit itself be a witness with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of the Messiah, and a joint heir, we shall mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified together. All praise, honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kandash, and Abuhana to the elder and the apostle of Gitunis, who do well. This is the blessing blessing and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this truth to the four ends of the heaven, being on the forefront of the spiritual to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again, as in the, age, in the days of old. So, I want to talk about see, the Israelites who are scattered abroad. And uh, my case is study today, it will be about the Hutu. There is a group of people, a tribal over here in Africa known as the Hutu, who live in Rwanda, who live in Burundi, uh, the western part of Tanzania, in the Congos, see, who suffered under uh, she, the Tusti, which is a Tusti, uh, who you call Egyptian, which is a Hamite. So to speak, so Esau, uh, he used the Hutu to oppress us, man. And that was what we call the curse of the law, I see. Because our forefathers, uh, when they came out of Egypt, they entered into a pact or a covenant with the Moshe, man. As the Moshe told them, that is out not to break any laws you see in the scriptures and our ancestor went, went beyond they went beyond the call of duty to make sure they break every law in the scripture and then some <laughs> see, they basically became his and so we suffered what we call the curse of the law you see and uh, I myself, I am a Hutu, you see, and I have a lot of brothers in this truth who are Hutu, you see. So you are Israelite brothers, you need to repent before it is too late, because we are living the last days of the last day. So this is Deuteronomy 21, say, shall come to pass if thou have sucked and diligent, not the voice of the Lord, Haba, Shemashai, thy power. To observe and to do all his commandment, which I command this day, that the Lord, thy power, the harbor, Hashem, Hashem, will set his own higher above all nations. So that was your condition if you keep all of these laws. So let us go to verse 15. Verse 15 will prove that they didn't keep. You say, but they come to pass if so. We not hearken to the voice of the lawyer, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his church, which I command thee this day, that all of these curses shall come upon, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see, let's read some of the curses, man. You see, verse 20 says, The Lord, Yahabah Hashem, Yahshai, shall send upon thee casting, vexation, rebuke, and all that those cities thy hand unto for to do. Uh, this is the case for you Hutus, man. You ain't, you ain't got no place to rest in Africa. Africa is a big continent, but you don't have a place to rest, man. See, we are, we are, we are refugees, man, yeah, under, under these different nations, man. I see. Set as I hand on to, on to, for to do, on to thou destroy thee, and on to thou perish quickly because of the weakness of thy doing, where he thou forsaken me. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed the from all of the land which is goes to possess. You see? Let's continue. Verse uh, 25, which is a very important. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before the enemy, to be beaten before the enemy. 
you know, the Hutu, we are, we are much stronger, man. <laughs> that is the strongest people I have ever seen in, in, in Central, Central and East Africa, man. You see? The Hutu. Tall, and very built, with muscle, man. And, 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 and the Tusi, in which have simultaneous, man, kicked us out of our land, killed our, 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 our relative. You see, they, they are much weak, man. You can, you can, you, you can, <laughs> you can just shout to a tooth who is beside you, and uh, by that sound, you can just fall down because they are too weak. They are weak like water. But what happened, man? They have smart as men. See, and, and, you know, they, they, them tooths are very weak. You just watch them on, on, on YouTube. You see, and no people there, man. But he got smartened because we are living under the curses, man. Let me repeat, the Lord shall call thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shall go out one way against them, and the free seven way before them and shall be removed in all the kingdom of this. See? Let me see. Verse 30. Thou shall betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. The truth did this to us, man. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell in, in therein. See, the Hutu we are living in a refugee tent, man. See? After we got kicked out of London and Burundi, we are living in a, in a refugee camp, man. And we are the strongest people here. See? Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gaze as a grape thereof. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. <laughs> The ox shall be thrown before the eyes. See, the tooth took all our property, man. And uh, you need to come and repent so that we can get our payback. So we'll pay them double. So we'll pay them double, we take our, 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 their, their women, like they took ours. See, and make them concubine. Say, and those shall not eat zero for. The eyes shall be violently taken away from before. Huh? Before thy face, and it shall not be restored to thee, thy ship shall be given to thy enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. See? You see, verse 36, And the Lord shall bring thee, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, which is a nation which neither thou nor thy father have known. You see? Let's go to verse 48. That's the dark right here. And therefore, shall thou save thy enemies, which is the Lord, the Abba Hashem, shall send against thee in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron. When the white men came, and they pulled the two, he was the Congo, because the, the Congolese and the Hutu are the same people. We have the same father, our forefather is Jacob. You see? When the, the, the white man came, he put a yoke of iron on our face. And we couldn't do anything, man, a yoke of iron. You see, upon, upon thy neck until he was destroyed. Saying, so, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The size. From the end of the earth, as a swifty. You see, that is, you see, in English, eh? as swift as an eagle flies, a nation whose tongue shall not understand. So, she shall say, Shalom, I hope you are edified. To the next.